What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Last Wraps baseball video. And today it is day four of our Tops Chrome Week. And our Chrome Week has been absolutely off the charts. On day one in the pink refractors, we pulled ourselves this guy, Luis Robert. Luis Robert, that card goes anywhere from 50 to 90 bucks US. Love it on eBay. Then we pulled this guy. An autograph card of Mauricio Dubon in the his rookie card in the Topps Chrome, which is kind of cool. And then we followed it up on day three with this guy, Andres Munoz, another rookie card autographed in Topps Chrome. Followed by uh, day two, we pulled this guy, rookie card of Kyle Lewis. Kyle Lewis is off to a great start with the Seattle Mariners this year. And here we are today. Uh, for day four. So I didn't think we would be able to uh, outdo ourselves on day one. Luis Robert and Dubon, that's a pretty good day. But to get another autographed card in retail, that's unbelievable. Unbelievable. And of course, when we showed you the odds the other day, the odds of us pulling stuff in, in retail is pretty much uh, next to impossible. And it was like one in 19,905. And we get two. So lightning has struck twice, and we're going to find out if lightning can strike three times when we go through these packs. So here we go. Well, maybe we get ourselves a refractor card. We did pull one, um, and so we're hoping that maybe we can get ourselves something else. So in the first one, I've got Cavan Biggio of the Toronto Blue Jays. Biggio, of course, uh, of um, you know that group that's, that's pretty strong there in Toronto, the young players. They've got a real good young core, followed by Rasil Iglesias, the closer. And then, of course, Ramon Laureano, the uh, all-star. Well, he's not an all-star, but the gold glover, um, in my opinion, outfielder for the Oakland Athletics. Uh, and, of course, um, you know, the guy who uh, decided to take on the, was it, the Houston Astro bench. And, of course, we have Raphael Devers, Raphael Devers of the Boston Red Sox. So uh, that's okay, Pac, but it, it, it's not up to the standards that we're expecting right now uh, after the first three days. So let's see what we can do in pack number two. Pack number two, I got a Sam Hilliard rookie. Nice looking card, Sam Hilliard of the Colorado Rockies, followed by Michael Fulmer of the Detroit Tigers, who's coming back off of Tommy John surgery, followed by Eugenio Suarez of the Cincinnati Reds, and then, of course, Justin Verlander for the Houston Astros. So, again, another nice pack, but nothing really that gets us jumping about uh, the excitement that those other packs have brought in the other two days. So we got pack number three, and we'll see what pack number three can bring for us. And so... Pack number three, we've got ourselves right off the hop, a Charlie Blackman card. Charlie Blackman, nice player. Oh, it looks like we are going to have a refractor at the back, so I'm curious to see who that is. I got an Albert Pujols card. Albert Pujols, nice player, a longtime player. Aaron Savalli has showed his head again. That's, I think, the third Aaron Savelli card, so maybe I need to become the president of the Aaron Savelli fan club, and then... We got something to get excited about. We have a refractor of Glaber Torres. And as you can see, the cards are moving a little bit about. Uh, not numbered on the back, but I do like the fact that we got ourselves and a Glaber Torres refractor card. We'll be able to flip that baby around. I am confident in that. And now that leaves us the pink refractor cards, the bonus cards. And we've had some success, obviously, with the uh, Luis Robert. And we've had some other guys in there as well. So let's see if we can keep the conga line going and get ourselves another one. And, of course, there we are right off the bat, Aristides Aquino, who has been a kind of a forgotten guy right now in Cincinnati. He's not up. He's been up. He's been down. And then we have a Yusei Kikuchi card for the Seattle Mariners. Yusei Kikuchi. And that's the second Jonathan VR card we have. He's now a Toronto Blue Jay, followed by a Zach Collins of the Chicago White Sox. Not the White Sox player that I want. And Patrick Corbin, and I've already seen Patrick Corbin, but I haven't seen this guy. And I am excited about him still. That's Aristides Aquino, and so not really in the lineup for, for Cincinnati regularly right now. But hopefully we'll be able to see him again in the future. So that kind of saves... Uh, these two guys kind of saved that value pack. Not quite the day that we had on day ones, two, and three, but not bad nonetheless. 
If you guys are new here, uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, uh, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And um, you've watched another Lost Cross Baseball video production. We're going to be back again tomorrow with day five of our Tops Chrome Week. And it'll be a little different. We're not going to do a value pack, but we are going to do a hanger. So let's see what the hanger has to offer. We hope you come on back again tomorrow, and we hope you all have a great day. Take care, everybody.